tweet. Michio Kaku's new book is called The Future of the Mind, The Scientific Quest to Understand, Enhance, and Empower the Mind. What? This is really a different field for you. What prompted you to, to look into this area? Well, you know, when I was a child, I had a role model, Albert Einstein, and I wanted to complete his dream of a theory of everything. But a theory of everything has to explain the other great mystery of the universe, which is what sits on your shoulders. And so when I was a child, I used to do experiments on telepathy, reading minds, really? telekinesis, moving objects with the mind. I dreamed about recording thoughts. I dreamed about perhaps one day photographing a dream. However, I failed. I realized that maybe telepaths did walk the surface of the earth, but I wasn't one of them. <laughs> but now I'm a physicist. Now we can do it. We can do all of the above. We can read minds, move objects with the mind, record memories, upload memories, and even photograph a dream. All of that has been done in the laboratory. Wow, photograph a dream? What does that look That's like? Right. Is that from a functional uh, MRI or is it, I mean, what do we see? Well, at Berkeley, where I got my PhD years and years ago, they put a patient in an MRI machine which calculates blood flow and outputs 30,000 dots representing the energy flows of the living brain. Then there's a software program that analyzes these 30,000 dots and creates a picture, a picture of what you are looking at. What? And then when you fall asleep, the machine just keeps on going and prints out your dream. So it's not a picture of the blood flow, really. It's a picture of what you're seeing in your dream? That's right. If you go to the website, you can actually see a picture of Steve Martin <laughs> and a picture that is recreated from the human mind. That is the blood flow of the brain analyzed by a computer reassembling a photograph that looks a lot like Steve Martin. You can see a picture of an elephant, a picture of an airplane, a picture of a human. 30,000 dots is not a lot of pixels but it gives you a good enough look at what the person is thinking about. Did and the, then when did, you fall asleep, <laughs> it keeps on going. Did the person who had the dream about Steve Martin wake up and say, I dreamt Steve Martin, and then they showed him this and they said, yeah, that's what I was dreaming? <laughs> I mean, how did they know? It doesn't look that much like Steve Martin. Well, one, one problem is how do you fact check that? Yeah. However, in Germany now, they've even done, gone another step forward and shown that lucid dreaming is really a true phenomenon. That's when you can actually change the course of a dream consciously as you are dreaming. Wow. They put a patient in an MRI machine and they asked him to perform certain tasks while he was dreaming. And before he was dreaming, they actually had a predetermined set of protocols. He would clench his right fist and then clench his left fist. Well, sure enough, when he was fast asleep, you could see the blood flow corresponding to wow. clenching your right fist and your left fist, and he did it on demand. And so lucid dreaming is really correct. We have now been able to show using MRI scans that you can change the course of your own dream. <laughs> wow, this is, this is wild stuff.